Hey guys, it's Johnson. Today I want to show you the settings for the controller as well as the wheel for Project Cars after the patch 2.0 on my Xbox One system. Okay, here we go. We start with the steering dead zone. This defines how far the stick has to be moved uh, until the steering of your car reacts. I got at zero, so the car reacts immediately. If your controller is worn out, you might want to put it a bit higher to counteract the car pulling to the right uh, or to the left on the straight. The steering sensitivity defines the rate in which the wheel turns in-game. Uh, with a higher sensitivity, the steering reacts quicker. It's more sensitive. Uh, wait. I heard that before. How... what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to context. Try it over there. Okay. The throttle dead zone actually means the same as the steering dead zone, just in the context of the throttle. It says how far you have to pull down your trigger before the throttle is pressed in game. The explanation for the throttle sensitivity is analog to the steering sensitivity. Same goes for the braking dead zone and sensitivity as well as for the clutch. But you don't really have to change the clutch settings because uh, you have to use auto clutch in this game. On the gamepad at least. Okay, now we come to the speed sensitivity. This specific setting is about the maximum steering angle in relation to your speed. The faster you go with your car, the less maximum steering angle you can apply. Generally you have to choose a value between 50 and 70 I'd say. I got 66. The higher it is, the lower the steering angle would be at high speeds. If you have them at a really low value, it would be too easy to overturn your car. Which brings us to the controller filtering sensitivity. I got it at zero. It has to be a lower value because if you put it higher, the steering is getting indirect and it feels like an input lag for me. I asked other players and uh, yeah, most of them keep it at zero. Force feedback is not that important with the gamepad, just choose something you like. Yeah, um, the controller input mode has to be the third. And yeah, you can also see the advanced settings, but there are no big differences between these settings. Um, just try out what is the best for you. Okay, and uh, here I got Bombay's real settings. The explanations are the same, of course, but the values are different. Um, just copy them if you like to and test them out. And at the end it is to say that the settings may vary slightly from car to car. These settings are for general use and if you want to bring your car setups to perfection, you may change some values, especially the steering dead zone, the steering sensitivity and the speed sensitivity. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like what you've seen and visit us on Facebook and Twitch. Bye bye.